Good morning. Welcome to Resurrection Lutheran Cooperative Ministry Morning Prayer. Um, it's cookie baking time, and uh, we're uh, starting our day, though, with the word of the Lord, and then we're off to baking some more cookies uh, for the kids that uh, benefits them going to camp and to other youth activities. So, um, great to see you this morning, and uh, let us begin with the word of the Lord. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia. Give glory to God, our light, in our life. O come, let us worship him. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving, and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hands are the caverns of the earth, the heights of the hills are also his. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. O come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Give glory to God, our light, and our life. O come, let us worship him. Our psalm today is Psalm 125. Those who trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion, which cannot be moved, but stands fast forever. The hills stand above Jerusalem, so does the Lord stand around about his people. For this time forth forevermore, the scepter of the wicked shall not hold sway over the land allotted to the just, so that the just shall not put their hands to evil. Show your goodness, O Lord, to those who are good and to those who are true of heart. As for those who turn aside to crooked ways, the Lord will lead them away from the evildoers, but peace be upon Israel. Let us pray. Lord, surround your people with your presence. Do not let us stretch out our hands to evil deeds, nor to be destroyed by the snares of the enemy, but bring us to share the land prepared for the saints in light, where you live and reign, God, now and forever. Amen. Well, we continue in our reading here from the from Micah, the seventh chapter, beginning with verse 11. A day for the building of your walls. In that day, the boundaries shall be far extended. In that day, they will come to you from Assyria to Egypt and from Egypt to the river, from sea to sea and from mountain to mountain. But the earth will be desolate because of its inhabitants for the fruit of their doings. Shepherds, thy people with thy staff, the flock of thy inheritance, who dwell alone in the forest in the midst of the garden land. Let them feed in Basham and Gilead as in the days of old. As in the days when you came out of the land of Egypt, I will show them marvelous things. The nation shall see and be ashamed of all their might. They shall lay their hands on their mouths. Their ears shall be deaf. They shall lick the dust from their serpent like the crawling things of the earth. They shall come trembling out in their strongholds. They shall turn in dread to the Lord our God, and they shall fear because of thee. Who is a God like thee, pardoning iniquity and passing our transgression for a remnant of his inheritance? He does not retain his anger forever, because he delights in steadfast love. He will again have compassion upon us. He will tread our iniquity underfoot. Thou wilt cast all our sins into the depths of the sea. Thou wilt show faithfulness to Jacob and steadfast love to Abraham as thou hast sworn to our fathers from the days of old. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And our second reading continues in First Peter in the fourth chapter, beginning with verse 7. The end of all things is at hand. Therefore, keep sane and sober for your prayers, above all, holding and unfailing your love for one another, since love covers a multitude of sins. Practice hospitality and grudgingly to one another. As each, as each has received a gift, employ it for one another, as good stewards of God's varied grace. Whoever speaks as one who utters oracles of God, whoever renders service as one who renders it by the strength which God supplies, in order that in everything God may glorify through Jesus Christ. To him belongs glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Beloved, do not be surprised at the fiery ordeal which comes upon you, to prove you as though something strange were happening to you. But rejoice in so far as you share Christ's sufferings that you may also rejoice and be glad when his glory is revealed. If you are reproached for the, sa for the name of Christ, you are blessed because the spirit of glory and of God rests upon you. 
But let none of you suffer as a murderer or a thief or a wrongdoer or a mischief maker. Yet, if one suffers as a Christian, let him not be ashamed, but under the name, let him glorify God. For the time has come for judgment to begin with the household of God. And if it begins with us, what will be the end of those who do not obey the gospel of God? And if the righteous man is scarcely saved, where will the impious and sinner appear? Therefore, let those who suffer according to God's will do right and entrust their souls to the faithful creator. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Holy Gospel comes from Matthew, the 20th chapter, beginning with verse 29. And as they went out of Jericho, a great crowd followed him. And behold, two blind men sitting by the roadside, when they heard that Jesus was passing by, cried out, Have mercy on us, son of David. The crowd rebuked them, telling them to be silent, but they cried out all the more, Lord, have mercy on us, son of David. And Jesus stopped and called them, saying, What do you want me to do for you? They said to him, Lord, let our eyes be opened. And Jesus in pity touched their eyes, and immediately they received their sight and followed him. The Gospel of our Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. In many and various ways, God spoke to the people of old by the prophets, but now in these last days, he has spoken to us by his son. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty savior born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our lives. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to repair his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, who knoweth our necessities before we ask and our ignorance in asking, set free thy servants from an anxious thought for the morrow. Give us contentment with thy good gifts and confirm our faith that according as we seek thy kingdom, thou wilt not suffer us to lack any good thing. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And Lord Almighty, we ask you, your everlasting God, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Pre- Prepare us as we uh, preserve us as with your mighty power that we may not fall into sin nor be overcome in adversity. And in all that we do, direct us to the fulfilling of thy of your purpose. Through Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord Almighty bless us and direct our days and our deeds in his peace. Amen. Well, thank you so much for joining me on this Saturday morning. Um, And I hope to see you tomorrow as well. And tomorrow is a special day because we begin our new year tomorrow. Tomorrow is the first day of Advent. God bless you and have a great day. Bye-bye.